Hey guys, Andrew here. I want to talk about whole brain power and Michael Lavery. Um, one of the best things I've ever done, well I got chalk on my mouth, one of the best things I've ever done was do whole brain power. It changed my life. I just had a, almost an hour phone call with my friend Michael Toth talking about whole brain power and how it's changed our lives and you know what, as much as I, I clown on Michael Lavery, I talk bad about him because at one point he believed the earth was flat and he, he kept denying it even though it was on video and my friends who were coached by him told me, yes, he did tell me that the space was fake, the earth is flat. He denied it. Um, and when I was coached by him, I, I didn't have a great experience more than half the time. Uh, he kind of messed with me. I felt like he messed with me a little bit. Uh, I just want to be coached by him. I want to know what can I do to do your whole brain power program? How can I go about doing that? So he'd say, here's your homework assignment. Study this, okay? Here's your homework assignment, do this. And I asked him like, well, how can I do that? He's like, come on, come on, use your brain. This is how you do it, blah, blah. He would tell me how to do it, but he would look down on me for it and he, he wouldn't really teach me. And then uh, part of it was he would talk about crazy conspiracies, he would give me his political point of view, talk about his sex life a couple times. Just not things that you're paying him for, that I was paying him for uh, as a student, being coached by him. But the big thing I've take, taken from Michael Avery, and so if Michael Avery or any of his cohorts are watching this, I want you guys to know I deeply respect Michael Avery. The first time I met him, I always go to Laguna Beach. I still go there, I just avoid Michael Avery. I still go there. One of the first things when I first talked to him was that he blew my mind for about three hours. We had the best conversation I've ever had about how when you don't use your brain, you know, your telomeres will unwind, uh, I'm probably butchering um, the information, but basically went down to the cellular level, went down to the mental level, how your mind works, um, everything. Just great stuff, how the world's becoming a more dumbed down place. And I was so transfixed by it. I was so influenced and inspired by him. So we do the hammer drills where you bounce a golf ball on a sledgehammer and a claw hammer and a rubber mallet and you write mirror image with your left hand and right hand and all this great stuff. But the biggest part I've gotten from it was speech production. I'm on my way to work, I'm on my way to work, but the best jobs I've had were because I've spoken well. I've articulated myself well. And so I practice articulating myself well. I make these videos, anti-flyer videos, but in, an, in essence, I'm practicing my craft of speaking and telling stories and teaching better. I got a job because of Whole Brain Power, because of Michael Lavery coaching me, I ended up becoming an English tutor because I, I memorized grammar, I memorized the rules of grammar, I got really good at grammar. And I had mostly a good time being coached by him. I felt like it really did help me. And I wonder today, where would I be if it weren't for Whole Brain Power? Power. But the biggest thing, well, I can tell you guys, is speech production. Get the book Whole Brain Power by Michael Lavery. Um, I don't have any promo links or, any, or anything like that. Hopefully I can get, have a connection with him because I, I really screwed him up, I really screwed him over. I talked a lot of crap about him because he was so rude to me and every time I tried to talk to him, he would dismiss me. So I said, screw it. Uh, I'm gonna talk bad about you to get your attention and it worked. I talked bad about him and some of his students came came to me and were like, Andrew, stop saying that. Please take it down. Yeah, whatever, okay. Once I get an apology, I'll take it down. And he did apologize. He actually did apologize, but he kind of kind of switched it like, oh, I'm sorry, but you know, I, I don't feel good. So please take it down because I don't feel good and you're making me sick by having it up. All right, you don't have to give me an excuse. Just say, just say I'm sorry. You don't have to say I'm sorry, um, take it down because I don't feel good. Just say I'm sorry, you know what I mean? You don't have to say I don't feel good and you're making me sick by this video. So take it down for my health. I don't give a fuck about your health. I want an apology. So. The biggest thing, and I want someday to give back to Michael Avery. As much as I bad mouth him, it's only because I care so much about Michael Avery. I care so much. Even Vaughn, one of his first students, told me, like, he realized, sorry, I said like, he realizes that I have such a love and respect for Michael Avery. He realizes it. I have such a love and respect for Michael Avery. I admire the guy. And someday I want to compensate him because he's changed my life. Even though we don't talk, I haven't talked to him in a year or so. I really respect him and it sucks when he brings up Flat Earth because I respect him so much. How is he going to bring up Flat Earth and get his number one student Nathan Thompson into Flat Earth when the thing he's talking about is stopping the dumbing down of America through brain training and, and penmanship and speed production. That doesn't make sense to me. So 
Yes, I just want to make that quick video. You guys check out Hobrian Power and try to speak in complete sentences without saying like, okay, right, and yeah. He calls it Lori-itis. Lori, L-O-R-Y, like, okay, right, and yeah. If you avoid those words and you try to say other words, you can have a good time. But I've found that sometimes you have to acknowledge when, when someone says something, you have to go, uh-huh, uh-huh. But the point is to not have a reactive mind of uh-huh, 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 yeah, okay, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. The point is to have a mind that thinks, that thinks clearly. And my boss has, you know, played little mind games with me and I, I beat them because I'm so mentally attuned. He says, you know, um, say uh, cow five times, okay, cow, cow, cow. What do cows uh, produce? Milk. Say milk five times, milk, milk, milk. What do cows drink? I said water. He says, oh, I thought you were going to say milk. So I've outsmarted people because of my training in whole brain power. And I've also known how the earth is not flat and I've articulated very clearly how the earth is not flat. And I've torn apart people's arguments who do think the earth is flat. And you cannot have someone be for whole brain, whole, whole brain power and believe the earth is flat. I know that Nathan Thompson has got a lot of views to whole brain, to whole brain power because of his hammer drills and his 100,000 community of flat earthers. The earth's not flat. Nathan, you're deceiving people. And, but great, if you guys are coming to Whole Brain Power, you're gonna learn how the earth is not flat. <laughs> you're gonna research, you're gonna learn for yourself, you're gonna do your own homework.